from hyper-realistic images like these to stunning fantasy creations like these, from dreamlike cartoons and animations like these to images with artistic vibes like these and images with perfectly integrated text thanks to its exceptional prompt adherence. Welcome to Flux One, the next big thing in AI image generation. So what is this Flux One? Well, it is an AI model developed by Black Forest Labs, available in three versions, Pro, Dev, and Schnell. The Pro version delivers the highest quality images, while the Dev version offers quality close to Pro. However, the Schnell version is much faster but with slightly lower quality than Dev. You can access Flux One through various platforms like Hugging Face, FAL, and Mystic AI. I've included links to all of these in the video description. In this video, I will show you how to access and use Flux One Dev for free using this website called Tensor Arts. Let's head over to the Tensor Art main page. You'll find the link in the video description. You can create an account or log in with your Google account. Once you're in, you'll see that you have 100 credits available and you get 100 credits every day. Trust me, that's plenty because generating one Flux One image only costs around 0.8 to 2 credits. As you scroll down this amazing site, you'll notice that it's not just for Flux One, and you can also use many other image generation models. Feel free to explore them all. But for this video, let's focus on the Flux One Dev and Flux One Schnell models. Here, I search for Flux One. By clicking here, you can see all the available Flux One models. Now, let's click on this model called Flux One Dev Try Now. This will take you to the interface where you can start generating images. Here you can specify the width and height of the image. Below that, you can choose the number of images to generate. Then there's a space to enter your prompt. If you select Enhance, it will turn the prompt into a more detailed one. However, be careful when using Enhance because it might add details you don't want in your image. Next, you can select the sample steps. This refers to the number of iterations the AI uses to refine your prompt into an image. The more steps you choose, the longer it takes to generate the image. The recommended range is 10 to 30 steps. Lastly, you can adjust the guidance scale, which controls how closely the image will match your prompt. A setting between 2 to 5 is recommended for best results, but a value of below 2 might give better results when creating art styles. Let's explore Flux One by creating a few images. First, we'll start with a face portrait of a girl looking directly at the viewer. I'm entering the prompt now. If you want to try these prompts yourself, they'll be in the video description. Here's the resulting image. It looks realistic and high quality. Next, let's create an action scene. I'm entering a prompt for a female warrior fighting a dragon. Here's the image. It looks like Flux One did a great job capturing the action. Now let's see how Flux One handles cartoon style images. I'm using this prompt to create a cartoon style cat. Here it is. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Let's create a close up of a cup of coffee at a coffee shop. Here's the resulting image. It's realistic, and the quality looks great too. Finally, I'm entering a prompt to create an image of two girls holding a sign that reads the name of my channel, Create with AI. Here's the resulting image. It's awesome, isn't it? Now, let's use the same prompts with Flux One Schnell and see what we get. Here's the resulting image. And here are some images for you to compare the difference of the outputs from the Dev and Schnell versions. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe for more future content like this.